It's gonna be a fun video. <laughs> Let's get right into it. Good afternoon, folks. Welcome back to the channel. We have an interesting video today, but before I get into it, three subscriber shout outs as always. We got Country, Roads, Life, Bob's Trades in MA, assuming that's Massachusetts, and then Don Flack. Thank you three for always tuning in and uh, leaving comments. I appreciate it. Let's get into today's video. It's gonna be a fun one. Meet the world's first <laughs> rear hitch mounted chipper. Check this out. So uh, my dad had this cargo rack uh, that he used on his old camper to put a grill on and a few other things. And we were talking, he was obviously with me the other video when we got the chipper. He goes, Jay, I got a good idea. So he brought up this platform here, which actually has a two inch receiver on the back of it. So in theory, technically, we could pull the splitter behind this. But anyways, we put this platform on and I muscled this wood chipper on. And I'm going to see if this will work. We're going to go back to that... Um, that tree job right down the road here there's still some brush left over and i'm gonna see if this is practical to take when i go get i usually the problem i run into is i get free firewood uh, but a lot of people want to take the brush so i need to handle the brush i don't want to take it home i'd rather spend time chipping it and throwing it in the back of the truck all right folks here we go we're at the tree job now here and um i tell you I, i'm doing the voiceover after this thing is absolutely mint this is like the first real couple branches i actually ran through the thing i did a couple test pieces with dad when we were getting it running but this was the first like legit um <laughs> a few branches i ran through and you can't see my face but this one here was probably about an inch and a half diameter when it hogged through that you should have seen the smile on my face the fact that i didn't have to try to cut that up and chip it I mean, cut it up and, you know, try to burn it for firewood. It's just not worth my time. I, I'm realizing as I get older and as I get wiser, sometimes, you know, burning every lick of the tree is just not worth the time. Um, so I can kind of speed it up here for a time lapse. But as you can see, the thing works great. We straightened out the motor. We changed the oil again. We have a new belt coming tomorrow. So we're going to put new belts on it. But I just cannot get over how much fun i had with this video i chip chipping branches as you can see my theory was here if i can cut it with the loppers it can go through the the chipper if i couldn't cut it with the loppers i didn't um i didn't chip it if that makes sense if i couldn't cut it with the loppers it would go in the back of the truck because that would mean it was too big so i just wanted to kind of add that in there but again here's a little bit more time lapse i need to do like a push rod the actual cutting teeth is way down, so, I mean, people might say my hands are kind of close, but they're really not that close. But let's listen in and watch this thing. I just can't <laughs> I can't get over how much fun this is it, it's very it's almost like primitive it's very satisfying it's one thing to watch the wood like burn and get the heat and whatnot but just hearing it just just chip down into, into nothing I don't know I it's just fascinating this is the first time this is the first time I've ever ran a chipper now I'm figuring it out you know bear with me here I, I mean I'll talk about this in a second but you know, certain pieces I try to ram through, and that's just not the case. But let's take a look at the finished product, because that's what matters. So what a difference, huh? Look at this pile. I would much rather shovel a pile of wood chips than try to stack all that brush. Plus, we can use this wood chips for our garden, so it's an absolute win-win. <laughs> I'm sure you can hear the excitement in my voice, but everything else is kind of frozen to the ground. Uh, I don't mind coming back here and spending a half an hour in the spring because there's a bunch of big size, good sized limbs under the snow there. So yeah, wow. Needless to say, that Echo Bearcat chipper, that's worth its weight in legit gold. <laughs> I've never had so much fun. That thing's a beast. So they did have this limb down here. Which uh, we can work on. Why not? Maybe they'll take the whole tree down. So let's go ahead and work now this Now that we limb. have the chipper and we know how it works and we know what it chips, 
We're gonna limb the tree a little bit differently than I have over the course of the years. So we fixed the McCulloch top handle. We're gonna limb everything so it's nice, easy feeding down the chipper now that we know. So let's go ahead, we'll limb that tree and then we'll uh, get to chipping. Right. So here's our next pile of limbs. Now that we know how the chipper runs, we, we, we limb the branch or the tree a certain way. They'll probably, I'll talk to them in the spring, but I'll probably convince them to take at least that one leg down since it's dead anyways. Uh, it's only gonna die and rot from here. The bark on the other side, you can't see, split almost all the way down, broken tree limbs. So it'd be good to just lob that one uh, maple tree off. And if I can back right up here with the truck and the chipper, it'd be quick work. Homestead Jim could be chipping, I could be cutting, it'd be a whole process. So I definitely believe they'll take more of these trees down. So let's try this now. For some reason, this is oddly satisfying. Chipping brush. I don't know why. So I'm going to start this machine up here and then I'm going to show some real-time uh, chipping just to show you how, you know, uh, how efficient it is. You'll notice too how straight and clean those pieces are. I got rid of all the cuts and all the Y's. I realized that the Y's and the joints or whatever you want to call it, they were struggling to get the chipping. So these are pretty much just really nice straight sections. So let's, uh, let's So I'm going to put you on a time lapse now for a few seconds, but I realized that you kind of, I stand a little bit off to the side of the chute. I got kicked back a few times um, from just little nubbies that kind of get shot back out. So I, I've learned to stay to the side of it now. You can see the difference from when I started to when um, I am now. So I'm learning pretty quickly with this. That's a much better pile to deal with um, than what we had before. Let me overlay a photo of what we were dealing with before. Needless to say, this chipper is worth its weight in gold. So we'll be back in the spring to do more cleanup. I gotta talk to the homeowner, or I gotta grab my McCulloch. It's over there on the rock wall. We don't wanna forget that. Yeah, there's definitely more tree work here to be done, which means more firewood, which is good for me. Win-win. This thing is legit. The best thing money could buy. Well. <laughs> I <laughs> I hope you guys share share my excitement. That worked out legit perfect. Now depending on the job, I could orientate the chipper either way. Uh, I had to move the truck around once, which, which once, which isn't a big deal, but that thing is perfect. Anything bigger, I'll burn the small stuff. I limb the tree a certain way. That huge pile, I know I did a, a couple, I think I did a two, a minute and a half clip and then a time lapse. Took me like four, less than five minutes to chip that whole brush pile. Now, I'm thinking the wheels are turning now. If I'm on a job site, or what I call it a job site, if I'm at a property or whatever doing tree work, I could have dad just feeding the chipper and I could be limbing and bucking and all this stuff and we could blow through the work. So the fact that we have a chipper now, this legit changes everything. I just got off the phone with the homeowner of that job there. They definitely want a few trees taken down in the backyard where I was. I didn't really bring the camera out there. Wide open, smooth sailing, you can get a truck back there. So we'll definitely wait till um, either A, the snow melts a little bit, we can get out there, or we'll wait till the spring, maybe you know early summer where it's, I don't wanna sink, we gotta wait until um, things are dry, or maybe the fall before the snow falls. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you think. This worked out perfect. God bless, and like I always say, we will see you guys out in the woods. 
I hope you guys are truly enjoying um, the content I'm putting out. I am. This is raw. This is real. There's no. There's no Hollywood here. This is it. So I mean, I'm not a professional. I don't have all the money in the world. It's very rare I get new equipment. You know, we're financially. You know, our priorities are elsewhere. You know, bills and and all that stuff. So. When I get a piece of equipment, I really need it to perform, and it sure did. So thanks for watching, guys. God bless. We'll see you guys on the next one.